the internet is full of billions of people, okay? This is representative of billions of people who all want to improve their life. I believe there's something to the tune of 4 billion people online. Facebook's got about 2.75 billion monthly active users. YouTube has 2 billion monthly active users. And of these billions of people, every single human being wants to improve aspects of their life. Now, it could be improving their performance in a game like Fortnite. It might be learning how to trade cryptocurrencies better. Maybe they want to learn how to actually invest their money truly and honestly. Maybe you're watching videos on Online right now how to make money online and you found my videos either way there's people who want to improve their life and what we as online business owners do is we build the pathway for them to help them get to where they want to be okay so the faster that we can test and prove whether we're actually able to a meet them where they're at b take an action that c leads them to another action that d gets them really close either ex experiencing the goal achieved or at least on the path to the goal achieved, this is what it means to prove out your business model, okay? When you know that you can actually lead people through this process. So what's required for this? Well, over here, we need ads, okay? So running an ad is the fastest way to get a message in front of an audience, okay? So on Facebook, I ran Facebook ads is what I did. B, we have an opt-in page. Now, an opt-in page is a landing page. I'm gonna show you all the bits and pieces. We're gonna get into the tactics here, but we're mapping out the framework first so you can understand what's going on. So the second, the first step after they click on the ad is they land on on your opt-in page where you offer them something free in exchange for their email address. And this free thing is going to help them on the path to their goal, okay? If you're not able to craft an opt-in offer, a free thing, a lead magnet that's compelling enough for them to give you their email address, what are the odds of you ever being able to sell them something? Pretty freaking slim, okay? So then C is what we call a bridge page. Now bridge page is the thank you page. That's where they go. It's the page they land on after they give you their email address. And on this bridge page, I have affiliate offers, actually one affiliate offer, okay? I put a single affiliate offer on that bridge page. Um, what also happens from here is emails, okay? They get on an autoresponder because they opted in at this point in time. And then D is them actually purchasing from the affiliate vendor. So if I'm able to get an opt-in, right? I can get someone to give me their email in exchange for the thing that I'm offering, the lead magnet I'm offering. That's a confirmation point that this is working. If I can get clicks on my bridge page over to the affiliate program, that's confirmation that the audience I'm targeting actually wants the thing that I'm helping them with. And then obviously, if we make money, if you see revenue coming in, you are on the path and fully, this thing just needs to break even. Because if you put in $100 in ads and you earn $100 over here, the byproduct of this is gonna be a really big email list. And that email list is ultimately the core machine of your business. So let's kind of get into some of the trainings and some of the bits and pieces that make this all work. Now, the first thing is you have to know what your niche is, okay? Who is that niche audience that you're going to be of service to? Who can you help in this world? And you might be thinking, well, Miles, I don't know how to help anybody. I, I don't know how to crochet. I can't help somebody learn how to crochet. Then it's all about what are you willing to help people? So you have to go learn. Then you have to go create the content that helps them ultimately to get them on the path to achieving whatever goal it is right here on this channel. I'm helping you learn what it takes to build a real business online on gaming channels. They're teaching people how to get better at the games that they care about on trading channels. They're teaching people how to trade so they can get better at trading to get the results. So you have to know your niche, but more importantly than just knowing niche, you have to know your customer avatar. Now to find the niche trainings, just right here on YouTube, just type in miles Beckler niche and you'll see it's these two, these, this two part series right here is the most important important one to go through. And then you have to know the audience. Who are they? What are they actually interested in? What are the things, what are the emotional triggers that get them to take action? Because remember, we have to get them to take action. You have to get them to actually give you their email address in exchange for your lead magnet. So if you don't know where they are and what their actual emotional challenges and problems are in their life, how are you ever gonna craft an opt-in lead magnet and an opt-in page that's going to work for them? That's the challenge. So this is why you wanna go here on YouTube and watch the Miles Becker Customer Avatar Series. Uh, actually, it's just this one. Uh, it's one full uh, premium training that I did, uh, Miles Becker Customer Avatar and it's right there. So that's ultimately the goal. Then what do we build out? Technically speaking, let me go ahead and clear this out. Just a few um, web pieces that we build and I'll tell you how to build it. And there's some free options and some paid options. So again, number one is an ad. 
So my first place I tested was Facebook um, for Facebook traffic. The second place, we actually have Bing ads running. We're only spending about a dollar. I'll tell you the exact numbers on how much I've spent on both of these. And then we're gonna run Google ads. If all of this works, we're gonna move on to YouTube. Um, certain niches are better in certain spaces. So if I was in the trading space, I would probably be starting with YouTube, but like the ideas of, of hobby-based stuff, um, trading and gaming, I would also use YouTube, but like hobbies and stuff like um, crocheting and how to cook and, and how to do green smoothies and, and how to, you know, uh, do yoga, all those kinds of things, I would absolutely be starting with, with Facebook ads. And then we need an opt-in page. So an opt-in page is a very, very simple page. There's no navigation up top. I often don't even have a, a logo on the top and it literally says free thing will give you a specific result. Okay. It's just a headline. Okay, so I just mapped out an entire opt-in page based on a template that's worked over and over. And this opt-in page I made for mine is, is converting at about 70% of traffic right now. So it literally says, free book reveals how to blank. Now, do you have to do a book? No, I did a PDF because it was very easy for me to put together. You can do a PDF uh, checklist, you could do a cheat sheet, you could offer a template, you could do a free video, you could do a free audio. It doesn't really matter what it is. But the free thing reveals how to, and then this is generally for them to achieve their goal or solve their problem, okay? And then you have three bullet points. You have an image of the product itself, and then the button says, yes, I want it. When they enter their information, they go on your autoresponder. So you gotta have an autoresponder set up. Mine, I launched with five emails in it, and then they automatically are redirected to what's called a bridge page. Now on the bridge page, what we wanna do is transition them over to the affiliate offer. Okay, so the bridge page up at the very top says request received. Your free thing is gonna be in your inbox in about five minutes. And this is really small. It's actually a lot smaller than this. It should only take up the very top part of the page. And then this is the real headline. It says right now, learn how to get that same result that you want even faster through this free video. Click the button below to watch the free video now. And then when they click this watch video, it actually links them over to the affiliate offer that has a video sales letter on top of it here. And you have just planted a cookie. You have just gotten an affiliate click. Now the questions we have is number one, can you get a click? Okay. Are you able to get clicks from Facebook over to your page? Number two, what percent of people can you get to opt in for your free thing? You want to see 50% or better. And then number three, are you able to actually make money on it on this side? This is literally how we kind of prove that a business model works beforehand. Now let's get more tactical. Okay. I want to keep going back from, from this strategic level to the more specific. Now I did a very quick, quick, quick overview of this thing. That's actually an affiliate marketing funnel. But if you search here in YouTube, miles Beckler affiliate marketing funnel, um, this video will show you step-by-step -step how to actually build it out. And this video will show you how to actually go in to a, um, an affiliate network and to find offers and to actually build this kind of funnel out based on the sales video, right? So in order for this to work, I got to have a sales video that reveals something that's interesting that also is relevant to the book itself. Okay. So it's the relevance of the ad. Hey, do you want to learn how to crochet free report teaches you how to crochet? By the way, do you want the video tutorial on how to crochet? Bingo. We send them over to a how to crochet course. So oftentimes I start with the affiliate offer and work my way back to engineer everything for my audience from there. And you should know in your niche for your audience, since you've done the niche research, since you've done the customer avatar research, you should know what offers work for them. You should know what software products and what physical products and what courses and what things are really popular with your audience. That's part of the job of being an online business owner is market research. And that's what comes along here. So this video here will actually, so this video explains it all the affiliate marketing funnel, simple, powerful affiliate marketing funnel hack, just search miles Beckler affiliate marketing funnel. And then this video here shows you how to actually build that all out. Now, uh, the other one you're going to need to know is how to make an opt-in page that works. So if you're here, you just search miles Beckler opt-in page, this steal my high converting opt-in page. I show you the actual design and how it all works. You can always go to milesbeckler.com forward slash free dash course. 
And this is ultimately the layout that works. Okay. This is the basic idea. I told you it's got the headline. It's got the three bullet points. It's got the uh, image and then it's got a button. I threw some testimonial kind of stuff down here that actually didn't increase my conversion rate to be perfectly honest. So this is all you actually need up top. Now, how do you build this out? Well, if you go to milesbeckler.com up on the grow your list, you actually have the ability to get a free autoresponder that'll allow you to have up to 500 subscribers for free and they give you free landing pages. Okay. And I show you step-by-step step on how to get this all going right here on this post, literally every single step on how to create your own landing page to test this out for free. Okay. You got to pay for traffic obviously, but for the landing page and stuff, you can do it for free. Again, that's milesbeckler.com. That's the grow your list tab up top. Um, if you're on thrive themes, this is an upgrade to the free landing page builder. Just search Miles Beckler Thrive Architect. Um, this is the theme that I personally use and I like to use for landing pages, either this or lead pages. Um, but this video right here, the Thrive Architect update, I show you how to build it out. Um, that same style of opt-in page that looks like the one I showed you, this one here. Um, I show you how to build that out in Thrive Architect, which is the one that I recommend personally using there. And that is really all you need from a technical perspective to build this all out. So how does it work? What does it do? Okay, what are the numbers from mine? Let me go ahead and clean this up. I'm going to remap this out. Okay. So we've got that same simple funnel set up again here now on the Facebook ads. And again, I started 100% with Facebook ads. I have to date spent $38 and 72 cents. That's how much it cost me in the clicks. And for that, I don't actually know how many clicks, but it's, it's mildly irrelevant. Um, what I do know is that I've had a hundred leads in at this point in time. So that means my cost per lead is just under 40 cents. Okay. It's 38 cents per lead. Then on the bridge page of the hundred people, so a hundred people opted in, which means a hundred people saw this page. I've had about an 87% click through rate on the bridge page. So 87% of people who reached this bridge page clicked on the button to go over to the affiliate offer. Obviously I'd like that to be a hundred percent, but Hey, 87% is pretty good. And then from the affiliate offer on this first comment here, and what I'm doing is I'm putting a tracking ID inside of the links here. And I put a separate tracking ID inside of the email so I can tell where the sales are coming from when the sales happen. Um, and at this point, as of this morning, I have made $57 and 20 cents. So that means I'm spending 38 cents per lead and I'm earning about 57 cents per lead. So this is my CPL, which is my cost per lead. And this is my EPL, which is my earnings per lead. And this one is 57 cents. So this means for every lead I'm able to get from Facebook, I'm earning oh, about 20 cents, 19 cents cash flow positive for every lead. So that means I started with $40 and now I've earned $57. So I'm taking all $57. Okay. I'm not taking that $20 out and, you know, putting it into Elon Musk's scammy, uh, doggy coin. I'm taking that $20 and I'm reinvesting it back in my business. So in the next couple of days, I can go from spending $40 to now I can spend $60. And if the numbers hold the $60 is probably going to turn into 80. And then I put the 80 back in and the 80 will turn into hundred and then the hundred will turn into 150 and on and on. And I want to remind you, this is only on the front end. So I'm going to go ahead and oops, let me clean that up. I want to remove that right there. So what I'm trying to show you here is this is just the front end. This is what I call the front end because this is the user experience that my leads go through, that my traffic goes through in one session, right? So they literally, they click from the Facebook ad to here. They click from here. This is all one session. They don't leave, but then I get them on my email list. And then I have five emails queued up. Three of these emails are linking back to the affiliate offer again with a different tracking ID. So I can see if I make sales here versus making sales here so far, I've made no sales here, but honestly, I've only sent out one email because it's been running for like a day. Okay. So I'm going to be able to track what happens. And now that I'm proving that this thing's working, I'm simply adding on more emails that go to different offers. So I'm going to have offer two and I'm going to have offer three in here. And this is all pure profit. Everything that comes off of the email here is absolutely pure profit. And if I really wanted to take this to the next level, what I can do is I can then replace the affiliate offer. So most affiliate offers that I'm sending people to right now, um, 
they pay between 50 and 65% commissions if it's a digitally downloadable product like a course. So I'm currently earning something like 50 to 60% uh, commissions. So if I created my own course, I would earn 100%, maybe about 3% of the cost has to go to pay credit card fees, but my margins wouldn't be 50% or 60%. My margins would be 97%, which means there'd be even more money in it for me in the front end. And this is what I mean by proving out your business model using affiliate products first. Can I help someone who wants to learn how to knit actually buy a course about knitting? Am I able to convert someone on Facebook who I know they're interested in knitting, but they're just browsing around on Facebook, wasting time, looking at pictures of dogs and grandkids and videos of cats. Okay. Can I get that individual from that point all the way over to buying a course on knitting? Well, we got to run them through a few steps, which you saw me map out here. If you can, it's going to be easier to test this all through an affiliate offer because you don't have to build the sales copy. You don't have to build the course. You don't have to run the, the merchant account. You don't have to deal with refunds. You don't have to run the customer support. All of those things are handled by the affiliate vendor. So I'm able to focus on ad to traffic, to landing page, to bridge page. That's it. Then I just do the math. And for me on this test, it worked. Now, the last thing I've been doing this a long time, made my first money online in 2003. So when I made my first dollar from the moment I made my first dollar online, it took me seven years to go full-time online. Now I'm clearly, as you've probably noticed, not the smartest person in the world. I'm also not the scammiest person in the world. So somewhere in there lies my balance of uh, honesty and integrity. And I'm not the fastest person to grow a business online, but I can tell you from my dozens, if not hundreds and thousands of friends and students like you have built real businesses online. It does take years. It doesn't take months like the greedy gurus are going to try to tell you inside of their funnels. So you need to make sure that number one, you're not going through their funnels. You're not watching their webinars. You're not paying attention to the sales messages of the greedy gurus unsubscribe, clear out your inbox. So you don't have these greedy gurus sending you their stupid sales pitches based on their lies about passive income. Cause it's all bullshit. What you need to do is you need to be building things to see if you can help people go from being on Facebook or YouTube or Google or Bing to purchasing something that you know is actually going to help them accomplish what they want. I know somebody's interested in knitting because they've liked how to knit type pages. So I show them an ad. My opt-in page is all about learning the three knitting patterns that you have to know. I don't know anything about knitting. And then I sell them on a knitting course and I either can do that break even or better, or I can't. And this is how you can prove out the entire business model. It took me a couple of days to build this all out, to start running traffic, to test it. It's working cash flow positive for me, but again, it's not my first rodeo. So if your first one doesn't work cash flow positive, if you're really committed, you just got to keep going and you got to keep testing and you got to keep working with it until you find that sequence of steps that works for your people. Then you add more traffic to it while finding more offers to add to the autoresponder and consider putting your course if you've wanted to create a course. So let's say you know how to trade, you've had great success trading, you want to put out a trading course, but before you go through all that time and effort to build the course, to get it running on a learning management system, to write all the sales copy, to get the shopping carts, or before you do all all that baloney, can you sell somebody else's course? Somebody you trust who has a really good course that also has an affiliate program. You should know who those people are. If you're actually a helpful individual who actually has their head uh, in, in clear air uh, and you know how to trade, right? Like you would know what courses help people get there. You know, what courses are honest or genuine. You would know what cheat cheat that people would be interested in because it's your cheat sheet. So you build out the one single page PDF document, you build a landing page around it, you run some traffic. Can you generate sales? That's the big question. That's how you prove out your entire business model. I just launched a whole new thing and a whole new niche this past weekend, and it's already generating cash flow. And now I'm just going to build on it and build on it. You can do this too. It takes a lot of energy. And the real key to everything is publish, create more than you consume, get off of the greedy guru list and start building. Can you drive clicks from Facebook to opt in pages? Can you get those people to opt in? Will they purchase things that you recommend? If you can't get that done, probably not worth spending a month or two building out a course in a sales page, because if you can't sell what's already selling and working and proven in the marketplace, 
well, you're just not ready to launch your own course yet. So build this, refine this, work off of this, use those videos that I showed you there. I'll make sure those links are in the description. And that's it for today's video. I appreciate you. I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Any questions you can get at me in the comments. Until we meet again, be well.